Welcome back, man. Just got done working out, playing my little guard, man. So I'm gonna chop it up with y'all a little bit, man. I want to tell y'all something. I only told I've only told my wife and like my mom and like close family, like being honest. So nobody, nobody even know this, bro. But I I almost quit football twice, twice in my life, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all the first story, the first time. Man, the first time I almost quit football, I wouldn't say almost quit, but like, I was like, bro, it was like a welcome to college football, bro. Like, I'm used to playing every snap, playing every sport, starting every sport. I don't care who it was in front of me, I want to play. Like, that's just like how, how determined I was to be great. Like, but sitting behind somebody, bro, was like, the the worst thing, the worst best thing that ever happened to me, bro. I mean, my first training camp, 2018, bro. Like, man, people moving so fast, the game moving fast. Everybody, 215 pounds. I'm over there, 175, 180, soaking wet, fresh out of high school, bro. It's like, man, these folks coming coming down, hitting hard, boom, boom, boom. I done, I've been playing football forever, so it ain't nothing to get hit. So I'm, I'm getting hit, but, like, I'm getting up. Like, let's get some more. I start learning the plays. Mm -hmm -hmm. Making people miss, breaking long runs. I'm like, man, why well, I'm still over here with the threes and fours. I, mean, I don't want to be the threes. I want to go over to the one and two. Because if you ain't with the one and two, you most definitely not getting in the game come season. You not getting no reps come practice. I'm, so I'm doing the threes and fours easy. Like this, this like junior high football to me. The way I'm doing them boys over there. So kept doing that. I'm like man, coach. I'm like me and coach, we cool. I'm like man, let me get in that coach. He's like, you ain't ready. Like, when we ain't ready, I'm over there doing them bad. Why can't I come do the ones and twos bad? So I just kept going with the threes and fours. First scrimmage come, I'm hyped, I'm ready. Cause the threes and four get to go against the ones and twos and I'm I'm hyped up ready. Man, Sadie Boy done gave me a little touch. Uh, I done took off on him, boom. Gone, gone. I got a video on my phone somewhere, man. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to start. I'm like, I'm about to start, I'm about to start, boy. Man, he say, like, do it again, oh man. I don't think I broke no, cause I still ain't got no video, but I was running hard though. So I just, I felt good after that training camp. My mom and them came, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I felt good after that one. Man, season roll around the corner. I'm on God Dog Goon Squad, bro. I'm like, ain't no God Dog way, bro. I done gave it all I got. Still ain't about to start, bro. I get no PT? None at all, bro. So I'm hot. I'm like, mom, I can't do this, bro. I got three, four running backs in front of me. I know I can compete with all three, four of them. I know I can compete with all four of them for sure. You don't care. I am 180. I'm ready. I got the speed. I, I can put a little power in there every now and then. But coach told me, the game got to slow down for me. And I didn't really understand that then. But it was more than just running the ball and catching the ball. And I did that with ease. Like, it was easy. What he was talking about was pass blocking, knowing when the quarterback changed the play, giving what you can take, because not everything will be a big play. We'll talk about that later, because I ain't like that. But when it really just slowed down for me, it clicked. But when I got the, when I got on Goon Squad, bro, yo, me and my boy TJ Wisham. Man. Let me tell you. Cause was, I'm gonna go back to training camp. But I got mad because after the scream, you do you do three scrimmages. Like that, man. I'm ready to go. I'm going home. Coach said quit then. Man, when when he said that, when he told me to quit, 
I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. She was my last. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. I said, coach, I ain't no quitter. And after then, I turned up after then. Like, it was up. Everything he said, it was up. I was like to prove myself every every day. And still didn't touch the field at running back my freshman year. But we can go back to practice. Now, when the season came, like I said, me and my boy TJ Wilson, bro, when I tell you we embarrassed, man, we told them boys up every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th and I ain't on Thursday. Look, boy, it's just hard to explain, bro. Because the first two hard practices, that Tuesday, Wednesday, you going to, well, Monday. Monday, Tuesday, you going to get it. Then uh, Thursday, like a, a speed day, like a no really cut. But you, you still going to get it from us. Like, we don't play no games. We wanna go get in on the game and running back. So so that that week before the game, that game prep the week. You gonna feel us. Man, we coach got mad at one the defense coach got mad at one time, bro. I don't mess around. Reverse field. <laughs> Juke buddy. Uh, took off. Score it over. He said the running back don't get the hole like that. My like, look. Now, how you gonna say what the running back gonna do? I'm the running back. He said, I'm not gonna talk back to me like that. But I was I just trying to, like, really just stand my ground, prove myself, like, listen, bro, you can't say hit this hole every time because the running back not going to do that, bro. That way he wouldn't understand it. He's not going to just hit, go straight head down every time. He messed around and said do up-downs. Man, I did one up-down. Then I thought to myself, I said, why am I doing up-down, bro? I'm trying to make them better. Man, I done stopped doing up-down. Man, he done got the screaming yelling in my face. They done, he done keep me out of the field. I just sat there like this. You say, what you do? What you do? I said, cool. I said, I want to do no up down for running the ball hard. Man, that was perfect, bro. That was a crazy day right there. But we used to go at it. Then he finally started trusting me. Hey, I started getting the rest with the one too, just in practice. Every time, bro. First play, he said, quit. Man, tell me I throw that mouthpiece in so fast, buck. I'm I'm proud to get in. I'm in that backfield like this. Ready to roll, but ready to rock and roll. Soon he had that sun gun up. I'm Pew! gone, boy. Hey, man, I was so happy. But come the game day, I ain't even play, man. I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting on the bench, dressed out, everything, man. But I did play them last four games, though, bro. But, man, well, that really turned my career around right there. When he told me to quit, I ain't never had a coach tell me to quit because I ain't never said I was going to quit. I said, I'm about to go home. He said, quit then. Man, when he said that, bro, like, all right, all right, he's serious. He's serious. But I ain't no quitter. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, cuz. I'm going to show you that I ain't no quitter. It turned me up. It turned me up. Tell them guys I play behind, though. This is why I wasn't playing. First we had Raymond Kyle. Man, trying to, I just raced this sun gun every single Damn, I used to race this sun gun, boy. That sun gun beat me every race. But get what? I only need one. I only need one. Get what? I got one. And after that day, you couldn't tell me none. You couldn't tell me none. Because that sun gun fail, boy. I'm the, uh, <laughs> he had like a, a 90, 96 or some long run. I'm talking about moving. That son of a gun, he broke the hoe. Uh, soon he do gone. Uh, that son gonna fast, but I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. I beat him one time. After that, he couldn't tell me none. Couldn't tell me none, man. Then I have Trey Regis. Bro, we call that boy the bowling ball. That son of a gun, you could not hit him one-on-one. -on -one. The defense hated hitting him. You had to hit him. You had to catch Ray. Hit. Hit Trey Reyes. Then you got Elijah Mitchell. That's a three-headed monster right there. So, I really wasn't going to play for real at least one. Unless one of them got injured or something happened or one of them was tired, tired. Like, it, two of them had to be tired, tired for me to get in. So, catch Ray, you weren't going to catch him. Hit Trey, you weren't going to hit him. Eli, did, look, uh, uh, little stiff legs. He can juke a little bit. Then he gonna try to run you over at the end of the day. Then Cole put me in. 
I'm trying to run by you too. I, my goal was not get touched. Not get touched, not get tackled. One, because I hate getting hit. And two, I love touchdowns. So, one of them, one of them got to get. One of them got, hey. Then we had Jay Wright. He from Mississippi. Had my boy, God dog. Uh, I can't even think of his name. God dog. Bro, that, that running back room was loaded, bro. Loaded. Like, then we had Ashton Johnston, bro. Man, this this song, uh, Thick Light Skin, Big Bone Boy. Let me tell you. One day we was in training camp, had a line by Kid Me. And I'm talking about, Coach say, you want to play? Pad block. So I done stepped in there. This son gun came straight down. Didn't even put no move on me. Ran straight over me. Boom! I don't know. Flip back, rolled over. I'm like, this nigga ran me over. Ashton said, don't worry about it. I got him. Got him the same thing. He tried to run Ashton no Ashton. Cracked it. Boom! I'm talking about boom! Two light-skinned boys. He had boom! I said, oh my God. Ashton stood him up in the hole. I was like, appreciate that, brother. Because I wasn't going to do it. Not me. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. Bro, football is like the best thing since sliced bread. Can't no sport compared to it. Especially in college. Like, if I can do it all over again, bro, I would do it all over again, bro. I miss them boys too, man. Them boys are wild too, bro. And them folks play, bro. I'm going to look off surgery right quick, man. We started playing basketball. And my boy, uh, Trey and Raymond Howe. Man, we, we done about to get fine with some old head, bro. Because them boys want to try to play hard, man. They got been trying to rough us up. So, man, we done got physical on them boys. We done we, <laughs> we about to fight them old head, man. Them boys ended up trying to hoop, man. Then my boy, me and TJ went going one-on-one. -on -one. I done, we in that shoe, breaking. Give each other little buckets there now and then. Can't hit a shot, man. But th that's game for life, bro. That's game for life. So the first time I ever quit, it was really like a little motivation. And, and it worked out good, man. I had I had an amazing career. Not the career I wanted. I wanted to win the Heisman. I wanted to get drafted first round. But I did become All-American first team. I was summed up. Uh, first team so I accomplished a lot of things that people didn't think I was going to accomplish anyway so it really don't even matter my second time I almost quit was when I got released from the Seahawks coming out from a warm coming out after a walkthrough you already know when they call you upstairs it's over with so I'm already I already know what's going on is they push with releasing we got two DBs coming in. I'm like, all right, cool. He said, you got any questions? I said, nah, that's it. Because at that point in my life, I ain't know what I going to do. Because I've been playing football since I was seven years old. And I always say, I'm not going to have a plan B. Because plan A was going to work somehow. But, boom, I'm released. Call my wife, she like, huh, you serious? I'm like, Yep, she my, I'm like, yep. She my wife at the time, but I'm like, yep. At that point, you like, anything happen. Your girl can leave you. Everybody start having faith in you. You're not who you used to be. So I was like, man. Agent said you might get another chance. So I'm just staying in shape. Went to Houston. They said I look good, but I was too heavy. They said I went, I'm like, bro. What? Make it make sense. So, but I'm like, man, see all them on me. Houston didn't want me. So I'm like, all right. No other team call, tryouts, nothing. I go to uh, the little draft for the XFL. Got drafted. Get close to season, come February. Find out they released me, didn't even tell me. So I'm like, bro. All this time I've been away, I ain't played football the whole year. And I'm not gonna get another opportunity to play. Like this how my career gonna end like this. 
without even getting a chance to step on a professional field. That's how my season's gonna end, bro. I was I was devastated, bro. Like devastated. I mean, we don't went to New York. I don't. I first got married. So it brought a lot of joy to my life. Went to New York. I'm still like, I'm way like. Please somebody call. Please somebody call me, bro. I just want to play ball. Like, that's it. I want to play ball. That's it. Like, I don't care if it's for a, a, a little team. I want to play. No call. I just start coaching at a private school, bro. Public school. Private school football team, bro. And it's like, it's, it's really, that's it, yeah, bro. So much joy to my life, man. Like just being around the game, telling kids about what I used to do. I'm, I'm an old head now. That's what I feel like, old head. I feel like I ain't, I'm telling my kids I'm about to leave to go play XFL. Whole time they don't release me, and I ain't even know it. So I'm just telling my kids I'm going to play XFL. I won't be here next year. So it's like, hey, NFL didn't want me. XFL didn't want me. Then I get a call from my agent say, you want to go to Canada? I said, nope. He said, huh? I said, I don't want to go. I was like, I'd rather work a nine to five. Then go to Canada. He's like, nah, you can't be serious. He said, let me go work out the numbers. I'm like, all right, just go see what you can do for me. Come back. Like, yeah, I got your contract. You can sign with them right now. I'm like, let me talk to my wife. She said, well, I know you love football. And when one door closes, another one open. And the Lord bless you with another opportunity, take it. Called him back, said, I'll do it. So, head to Canada, man. I leave out May 6th. Like I said, I just want to play ball. Like, I've been working hard in the weight room. I was, I got my way. I was up to about 210, bro. And it was like, because I was like, I ain't, I ain't going to play ball. I don't care. So, I'm back down 200 pounds now. I feel good. I look good. I be moving out there on the field out there. So, I'm ready. But I ain't played ball in a year. And it's like, I got to show what I can do. It's pro ball. and not going to show no slack. Like, they want, you, they want me to come ball. And they expect me to be in the NFL. But it's like, man, NFL said they already didn't want me. You got guys that improve they self in the lead, not on teams. I just want to be on a team, bro. I just want to be back with some boys, playing the game that they love, trying to make it for their families, bro. And I'm looking at all the guys playing. This this where this where it gets. This where the Lord gonna test you at right here. This is where the Lord gonna test you. You train with guys. You play with guys. You played against guys. And they all on the team except for you. So I can take that and I can envy and hate them and be like, yeah, okay. Not believe in the Lord and do all that stuff. Like, this is what you're going to do to me? But no, I'm like, I'm just going to grind. I'm worried about my story. I'm worried about me. And I'm going to just keep keep pushing myself. Because I like, I can't envy them. I got to be proud of them. The Lord got everybody's story different. Everybody's journey different. And like, a lot of guys come about to come out of college now. And like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be prepared. Cause one day you can be living the highest day of your life. Like when I signed to Seattle, I was the highest. Like I'm going to play in the NFL. I'm excited. My boy in, in uh, Seattle. Like I'm good. <clears throat> Talking to my agent, like I'm, I'm already worried. Like what I gonna do to make it to training camp? So we just didn't rookie mini camp. About a week left, I get I get released. All I want to do is just make. I just want to make to to train the camp, bro. Just just get in them pads and show them folk, bro. It'll be a different story. But man, then in training camp, all the running backs got hurt. All of them got hurt. Every single one of them got hurt. I'm like that could have been me. It could have been me. Because I'm going to tough it. I'm from the country. I'm going to tough it out. Like, injury not going to bother me unless it's something broke. Like, I'm going to tough it out. And the crazy thing was, the two kids that I beat out, 
in, in Ricky Minicamp. They called them back. They called them back. They got to play in preseason. I'm sitting at home watching. Oh, how upset I was, bro. I was hurt. I was hurt. Hey, but it didn't break me. I'm back. I'm back. And I promise you, I promise you, when I get to Canada, I'm turning up. I get back in that league with this new kickoff rule and these new tackling rules, I'm, I'm going to be an unstoppable force, bro. I just need another chance to get in there. And that's it, man. Stay motivated, for real. Hey, you all got a plan for everybody. Everybody, man. I don't care if you're a sinner from day one. We all born a sin. God got a plan for you. You just got to stay, stay headstrong, stay motivated. You make a mistake, you bow down your knees, you beg for mercy, forgiveness. It's going to all work out, man. And just, that's it for today, man. I almost quit football. I almost gave up the love of my life. Like this, it, I almost gave it up. But for my supportive wife, with God, with my family behind me, with the kids watching me, if I give up, what I'm telling my kids, daddy gave up. Nope. I won't, I won't dare do that. I won't dare do that. Peace.